greetings friends and welcome back to the channel Seekers of Harmony. Now since this is the first episode of our new series, Sort of Awareness, I would like to say a couple of things before we start with the first subject. First of all, perhaps you notice I'm sitting in my couch at my living room, speaking to you, and there is no attempt to uh, polish or make something look differently than what it is. The videos you are going to see, they will not be edited or polished it or be refined or we will not add um, bells and whistles, nice images in order to catch your attention. There is nothing wrong with that, but that's our style. Another thing that I think is important to, uh, to explain or to agree upon is the way we are going to communicate. I do not want to have a f the feeling that I'm speaking to a lens or a camera or to the wall behind. I would like to have the feeling that I'm talking to you. Not to an audience, but just to you. So that we hopefully have a deeper, more profound, more heart-to-heart -heart communication, connection. Maybe it's not possible, but that is my intention. That is the intention behind what I'm suggesting. So I invite you to tune in into your, uh, in this conversation and to also imagine that I'm just talking to you. So let's start with our first topic, which is all about being brave or courage. Are we really brave in our lives? Are you brave in your life? Now, perhaps you ask, what do you mean by that? Of course, I'm brave or it's my right not to be brave. Perhaps you say I'm brave because I jump with a parachute or bungee jumping or things like that. And if you're brave, then it's fine. So why do I start with this topic. You see, I know someone. Not everyone is like this person, but I promise you, I've seen other persons with the same tendencies. So this person I know, he is very well uh, built, practices a lot, uh, he takes care of his body, he wears nice clothes, he's always tanned, he has a beautiful smile, everything seems perfect. But at the same time, this same person is so much afraid of not presenting to the world this kind of appearance, if you understand what I mean. And he doesn't want to admit that he's kind of afraid of being fragile behind his image and weak. So my question is, and it's not just a philosophical question whether you agree or not, but my question to this person was, my question in general is, is this person really brave? I mean, how can we change things? How can we change patterns? How can we, how can we not be drowned by our own excuses? How can we be honest? 
if we are not willing to see the reality, the way things are, the way we behave actually, behind the body, be behind the clothes, behind the image, behind the, the mask. In Eastern traditions, traditions uh, being brave is a very important quality because it will initiate your first step to a change. Being brave means being honest, admitting, not judging, not condemning, not being unkind to yourself, but being honest with yourself and being courageous towards who you are and the way you live your life is considered very important in order yeah i repeat in order to make a change you have to be brave enough to admit it in a way it's like when you practice with weights and you see that you need to practice your legs much more than your biceps and then you practice your legs and then you do something else so i invite you to take a moment after this, uh, after you have listened to this to this uh, video and to those thoughts, perhaps watch yourself at the mirror and ask yourself: Am I really brave? Do I dare to say my opinion? Do I dare to be vulnerable? To show my weaknesses? Do I dare to cry? To fall in love because when falling in love we may feel vulnerable so I invite you to to ask yourselves about it and then based on your answer you can act so to finalize this first uh, episode being brave is not about proving yourself it's not about breaking every barrier, so to say. It's about having the strength to look yourself into your eyes, to be honest and to decide whether this is the way you wish to live your life. I hope I didn't offend you. I hope you see the purpose behind this question the value of taking the first step and i hope to see you next time thank you for now